The dip in temperature affects the respiratory system and causes a marginal spurt in the viral and respiratory ailments. Most chest outpatient departments witness an increased flow of patients, particularly those with underlying lung diseases. For people, especially young children and the elderly, winter can at times lead to more problems because of two reasons. One is that cold air causes irritation of the lungs and it can lead to breathing difficulty, coughing, especially in people who have underlying bronchitis and asthma. Also elderly are more prone to infection and in winter there is increase in viral infections and this causes higher chance of sore throat, cough, cold but also can lead to higher chance of pneumonia which can be serious and ne may need hospital admissions. The condition of patients already suffering from respiratory diseases worsens during this time of the year. Some of them may suffer with acute breathlessness and other complications which can be life-threatening. Especially when you are going out in the cold weather and exercising in cold weather, one has to make sure that you are properly covered, especially your, you wear layers of clothes <coughs> and have cover your head and feet because winter can lead to problems of hypothermia and frostbite also. So in general, people who are elderly, in people who have underlying heart or respiratory problems need to be careful. They should cover themselves well. They should make sure that they take their medications regularly, have a good healthy diet with plenty of fluids and that will actually help them in enjoying the winter months without becoming ill. It is important to patients with lung diseases to be cautious, consult their doctors and have an emergency plan ready for the season. Kiran Bhardwaj, DD News.